My last point is about Cain's wife. 我最后一点就系关于该人嘅妻子。Because when I asked you about marrying a relative， 因为当我问你我哋可唔可以同亲戚结婚嘅时候 ，That was a trick question, wasn't it？ 其实系一个好巧妙嘅问题嚟噶，系咪 ？Because you were thinking quite correctly about close relatives。因为你真系谂紧近亲啊嘛。And of course you're not supposed to marry a close relative。当然啦，你唔会同一个近亲结婚啦。Like a brother or a sister， 好似你嘅兄弟姊妹 ，or even a half brother or half sister， 或者同父异母嘅兄弟姊妹 ，because everybody knows that that will give horrible defects or deformities in the offspring。因为大家都知道咁样做就会生出身体有缺陷嘅后代。And in the Bible, God says you shouldn't do that。喺圣经里边，神都叫我哋唔可以咁样做。So who did Adam and Eve's children marry？ 咁亚当同夏娃嘅仔女同边个结婚咧？ Do you know there are many people around the world that don't believe the Bible because of what they see as that problem？ 你知唔知道全世界有好多人唔信圣经就系因为呢一个问题啊 ？The first thing is that the Bible really does teach that Adam and Eve were the first two people。首先，圣经真系话亚当同夏娃系第一对嘅人类。In fact, it's theologically very important that we're all descended from Adam。其实喺神学上好重要嘅系，我哋都系由亚当而嚟。Because there's a special word in Isaiah used to describe the coming Messiah。因为喺以赛亚书里边用咗一个特别嘅字嚟形容即将来临嘅尼赛亚。And that word means he's not just someone who will save us。嗰个字嘅意思唔单止系一个嚟拯救我哋嘅人。But someone who will be our relative。仲系我哋嘅一个亲戚。That seems to be why God didn't create Eve separately from the ground。所以点解神唔单独咁用泥土嚟做夏娃 ？The way he did it meant that she was a physical descendant of Adam too。神咁样做系为咗夏娃喺肉身上都系嚟自亚当。You have to be descended from Adam to have the potential to be saved through the last Adam。你一定要系亚当嘅后代先至可以被最后嘅一个亚当拯救。And the Bible calls Adam the first man。圣经话亚当系第一个人。And it calls Eve the mother of all the living. 夏娃系众生之母。So because God chose to start the whole human race off with two people， 因为神选择呢两个人作为全人类嘅开始。It means that some point you have to have brothers marrying sisters。即系话喺某啲时段，你会同兄弟姊妹结婚。But how can that be？ 但系点可以咁做咧 ？What about all the deformities？ 咁嗰啲身体缺陷嘅问题咧 ？And what about God's law？ 咁神嘅律例又点咧 ？You'll see that when we look at it closely, there is no problem。但系其实我哋认真啲睇，系冇问题嘅。First, we need to understand where the deformities come from。首先，我哋要知道嗰啲身体嘅问题喺边度嚟先。You remember I talked about these copying mistakes。你记唔记得我哋提过嘅复制嘅错误啊 ？And I talked about how those mistakes increase in time。而嗰啲错误随住时间不断咁增加。As one copying mistake is added to the previous one， 一个错误加埋喺之前错误嘅上边 ，which means all of us are carrying many many mistakes， 即系话我哋每个人都带住好多好多嘅错误 ，which we inherited from our ancestors， 系由我哋祖先里边遗传落嚟。Now, now the good news is that you don't normally show your mistakes， 好消息就系我哋正常地系唔会将我哋嘅错误表现出嚟。Because you remember that genes come in pairs。因为你记唔记得我哋嘅基因系一对咁嚟噶 ？So let's look at the gene with instructions for how to make insulin, for example。例如我哋而家嚟睇下基因点样发出指令嚟制造胰岛素。If you inherit a defective copy from one parent， 如果你由父母其中一方遗传咗一个有缺陷嘅基因 ，the one you get from the other parent acts like a backup copy。由另一方所得到嘅基因就系后备，所以你仍然会收到正常嘅指令。But if you get the same mistake from both parents， 如果你同时由父母都得到有缺陷嘅基因 ，now you don't have any normal instructions， 咁咁你就唔会收到正常嘅指令啦。So you can only make a defective form of insulin， 你就只会制造到有缺陷嘅胰岛素啦。Now when you marry someone that's not closely related to you。当你同一个冇咁近亲嘅人结婚，你哋每人都带住错误
but they're not the same mistakes. 但係唔係同樣嘅錯誤。So there's a very small chance that two mistakes will get together. 所以兩個同樣嘅錯誤走埋一齊嘅機會就好細啦。Because but of course brothers and sisters who have the same parents. 但係兄弟姊妹嚟自同一個父母。Will share a lot of the same mistake. 佢哋會帶住同樣嘅錯誤。So that's why it's a big risk even to marry your half. Brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or half sister. So, to marry your half brother or Building up after the fall, 呢啲錯誤喺墮落之後開始累積。So in those early generations, there would be no problem with close intermarriage. 所以喺早期嘅年代，近親結婚係冇問題嘅。Remember, I'm talking lawful marriages before God. 記住，我哋講緊喺神面前合法嘅婚姻。I'm not talking child abuse. 我唔係講緊侵犯兒童啊。And there is biblical support for that. 我哋仲有聖經嘅根據啊。Because you remember that Abraham married his half sister Sarah. Because you remember that Abraham married his half sister Sarah. Because you remember that Abraham married his half sister Sarah. Because you remember that Abraham married his half sister Sarah. Because you remember that Abraham married his half sister Sarah. Because you remember that Abraham married his half sister Sarah. Because you remember that Abraham married his half sister Sarah. Because you remember that Abraham married his half sister Sarah. Because you remember that Abraham married his half sister Sarah. Because you remember that Abraham married his half sister Sarah. Because you remember that Abraham married his half sister Sarah. Because you remember that Abraham married his half sister Sarah. 咁點解神冇責備亞伯拉罕違反佢嘅律例咧 ？Because Abraham didn't break God's law。因為其實亞伯拉罕冇違反律例。Because that law only came in hundreds of years later。因為嗰條律例係喺幾百年之後先至頒發。And you can see how necessary it was for that to happen at some point。你會睇到呢條律例去到某個時候有必要頒發嘅。I hope you can see that this Is important because people use it to attack the Bible. 我希望你睇到呢一点嘅重要性，因为有啲人就用呢一点嚟攻击圣经。And if you can give answers to these things, 如果你可以回答到呢啲疑问 ，especially with the information from modern biology， 特别系由现代生物学所得嚟嘅资讯 ，it can be very important for the salvation of the person you're witnessing to. 呢个可能系对嗰个人得救系好重要噶。